And a very good evening, everybody. Brogan Sleto was one of three Coyote captains this fall on the soccer team. He had a solid year, and he wants to play in college. Uh, yes, sir. I'd like to play in college. I'm not sure which college or uh, where yet, but soccer is definitely an idea for me in college. Something that you love, right? Yes, sir. You guys always play hard. You always give a good effort. I mean, that goes back to the team's leaders, right? Um, always. It comes back, and we try to help out the younger guys and teach them how to play better, and hopefully they'll come next year and have a better season than their last season. You think they've got a bright future? I do. That's how you grow your program, giving back. He is a kid who gives you 100% all the time. Also kicks for the Coyote football team, so he's really helping out. His Coyote soccer career came to an end on Tuesday in a play and loss to the Century Pats. College cross country at the Briar Clifton Invitational on Saturday. McCade Shumway running for the University of Sioux Falls fifth with a time of 25.02.11. He's now a junior there. We had him on in August. At that same meet, his longtime buddy and fellow state champ, Leif Larson, running for Mankato State, 34th with a time of 25.50.46. Couple of great kids and great coyotes in my book. Always good to see coyotes doing well. Carlos Correa put on a show last night, helping the Twins even up their series with the Astros at one all. And his boss, well, he wasn't surprised at all. This is exactly what Carlos Correa is here to do. And he was brought here to do these things. These are pretty extraordinary things, but this is what he, this is why we wanted him. This is why we brought him in, and he's doing exactly what he's done before. It's not the first time he's done things like this, so uh, he's not finished. Ah, uh, we hope he's not finished. Game three comes tomorrow afternoon, 3:07 at. Target Field in the National League. The Phils looking to even up their series with the Braves. Uh, I'm sorry, looking to take a two game to none lead. Let's go to Atlanta, see what happened for those fighting Phils. Top of the third, JT Riamuto. For my money, the best catcher in baseball. A two run blast off Max Fried. Three zip Phils. In the eighth, we go. This blast from Austin Riley, a two run blast, gives the Braves the lead at five to four. How about this? In the ninth, Nick Castellanos with a fly ball, a great catch from 0 2, rookie of the year. Uh, Michael Harris, the second, a great catch. And look at that. They double up Bryce Harper. So they double up Harper. The Braves win 5 4. That series now tied up at 1 to 1. My goodness. It looked like the fighting Phils are going to go up 2 zip. Not so fast. So Braves win 5 4. Arizona and Los Angeles. This one, a good one as well. Uh, Diamondbacks trying to hang on 4 to 2. They are in the seventh. Loris Goriel has hit a home run. And so has former Red Sox J.D. Martinez. So it's a wild one. Arizona trying to go up. To zip, but you know you gotta you gotta take out the the champs, people who have dominated your division. So they are trying to do that. Well, after going two to one on their trip last week east, a win over Lake Region and one over Trinity Bible, uh, one loss to Science. Lady Tetons will be home tomorrow, and uh, they will host Dawson. And then on Wednesday, it's Miles Community, both at 7 p.m. Let's take a timeout on First News at. 10. 